what are commensurable and incommensurable quantities two quantities are said to be commensurable if those two quantities can be expressed as a ratio of integers otherwise those two quantities are said to be incommensurable quantities let's look at an example let me consider the two quantities 1.5 and 3 can i say these two quantities as commensurable let's check i write ratio between these two quantities 1.5 and 3 so i get 1.5 is to 3 now my aim is to express both the terms of this ratio as integers already the second term is an integer 3 only the first term is not an integer it's a decimal so i have to make this one as an integer okay in this case i am allowed to use only the two mathematical operations one is multiplication and division not any other operation why i'll tell you the reason bit later okay in this ratio 1.5 is to 3 to make this first term 1.5 as integer what i have to do is i have to multiply both the terms of this ratio by 10 so 10 times 1.5 10 times 3 15 is to 30 now there is a common divisor 15 for both 15 and 30 so i divide each term by 15 i get 1 is to 2 so 1 is to 2 is the ratio between the two quantities 1.5 and 3 in this ratio 1 is to 2 both the first term and second term are integers i am able to express the given two quantities as a ratio of integers so these two quantities are said to be commensurable and one more important thing we have to notice here when i do ratio between uh, the given two quantities 1.5 and 3 i got 1.5 is to 3 okay so here my aim was to make this 1.5 as integer for that i multiply both the terms by 10 finally i got the ratio 1 is to 2 so this ratio 1.5 is to 3 and the ratio at last i got they are equal because i use the operation multiplication that is i multiplied both the terms of the ratio by 10 that is why the given ratio 1.5 is to 3 and the ratio at last i got 1 is to 2 both are equal so when you are trying to verify the given quantities are commensurable or incommensurable you are allowed to use only multiplication or division not any other operation multiplication means you have to multiply i mean you can multiply if you want you can multiply both the terms of the ratio by some non-zero number or if you want you can divide both the terms of the ratio by some some non-zero number let's look at an another example square root of 3 and square root of 2 can i say these two quantities are commensurable let's verify first let me write ratio between these two quantities square root of 3 is to square root of 2 okay square root of 3 and square root of 2 both are irrational numbers let's find the value of square root of 3 using calculator if you use calculator calculator to get the value of root, uh, square root of 3 it will be 1.732 and it will keep going so square root of 2 is also an irrational number the value of this square root of 2 is 1.414 and it will keep going okay here in 1.732 i mean in this uh, irrational number how many digits do you have after the decimal infinite number of digits here the same thing infinite number of digits so here our aim is to make both these terms or uh, this term and this term as integers so by what number should i multiply the first term and second term i do not know because only if i know the number of digits after the decimal i can come to the number i can come to know the number by which i have to multiply but here in both the terms of this ratio i do not know how many digits we have after the decimal so i cannot decide the number by which i have to multiply so these two terms cannot be expressed as integers so the given two quantities square root of 3 and square root of 2 are incommensurable quantities because these two quantities cannot be expressed as a ratio of integers here the students may have a question that is we can easily express these two quantities square root of 3 and square root of 2 as integers by squaring both the first term and second term okay let's do that so the square root and 2 can be cancelled the square root and the power 2 can be cancelled so we get 3 is to 2 okay 
here both the terms are integers so we have expressed the given two quantities as a ratio of integers so we can see these two quantities are commensurable here we have to notice an important thing that is squaring both the terms of the ratio will give you a duplicate ratio not the ratio which is equal to the given ratio i mean this ratio is called duplicate ratio this duplicate ratio and the given ratio both are not equal so that is why i said in the beginning itself when you are trying to verify whether the given quantities are commensurable or incommensurable you are allowed to use only the two operations either multiplication or division okay not any other operation because only if you use multiplication or division you will get the ratio which is equal to the given ratio but if you square both terms of the ratio you will be getting a duplicate ratio that cannot be equal to the given ratio so to check whether the given quantities are commensurable or incommensurable we should try to express the given quantities as a ratio of integers in that process we have to use either multiplication or division that is we can multiply both the terms of the ratio by the same non zero number or we can divide both the terms of the ratio by same non zero number we are not supposed to use any other operation like squaring both sides i mean squaring both the terms of ratio or taking power 3 for both the terms of, of the ratio that's it